In this video, we're gonna take a look at the MoPoint 65 watt adapter and why you wanna be using that instead of some old adapter that you're using, which is only putting out nine watts. So I'm gonna show you what the difference is between these and why you wanna go with one of these. And we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Ormond Beckles, AKA The High Tech Nomad, and welcome to another video. On this channel, you'll find videos that explain the basics as well as tips and tricks on cell phones, computers, smart home devices, social media, apps, hardware, and more. So, if you wanna learn how to make technology work for you, start now by pressing the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a video. We're gonna take a look at the MoPoint 65 watt, it's actually funny, it says 65 watt, but they've now changed it. They squeezed a little bit more out of it. So now they say 66 watt. I believe that's so they can go back to saying the world's smallest 66 watt GAN travel adapter. The GAN, by the way, stands for gallium nitrate, and that is a material that allows the adapter to be much, much smaller than it normally would be, waste much less electricity and therefore it's more power efficient. So all of the new chargers that do all this high wattage in very small packages are using gallium nitrate. Now, I wanna to talk to you about the Mo Point. It's funny, I saw a comedian do a, a piece one time and he told this big long story. And at the end he says, I told you that story so I could tell you this one. Because he understood that you wouldn't get how funny this one was until you understood this story. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna to explain to you why you want a 65 watt power adapter. If you are interested in me getting right to the features and what I love about the MoPoint, then use the chapter description, the chapter marks in the description below to jump right to that point. But if you wanna understand why, and I think it's important that you do, uh, you need a, a 65 watt adapter, and then allow us to go into that. I wanna put this off to the side for one second. There's a lot of different names up. There's regular charge, standard charge, fast charge, quick charge, adaptive fast charge, power delivery, supercharge, super fast charge, super fast fire. There's a million names. All you want to concentrate on is watts. And the first rule of Fight Club, no, first rule of the Power Your Phone Club is that the more you have, the better. And you can see that here, but I'll, you'll see why you want to have as many as you possibly can. That's the first rule. The second rule is that if you are if you have a device that, let's say this was a nine watt phone that the maximum it could draw is nine watts. If I put it on a 15 watt adapter, it's not going to hurt it. See, it will only, it's telling you how much it'll draw. So it'll draw nine from this, nine from this, or nine from this. So you don't have to worry about, say, ooh, this is a 65 watt adapter, this is only a nine watt phone, is something freaky is gonna happen. No, nothing's gonna happen, so you're fine. And then the third rule of Fight Club is that we wanna use USB-C on both ends. I'll explain that in a second. We're gonna do a little quick adapter test. I'll put a link for this down below. This is a little gadget that you can get there, like $20. It's gonna give us a little screen. We're gonna actually take the readings from the phone itself, but we'll also use this as well. I'm gonna put a link for how you figure out wattage. Essentially, it's you take the number of volts, multiply by the number of amps, and that will give you what your wattage is. Based upon the volts and amps that this is capable of putting out, this is the maximum this can put out is four, uh, 15, the maximum this can put out is 25, and the maximum we can put out on this one is 65. All right, let's start with Mr. Slowpoke here. And we'll plug this into here. Again, notice I'm using a USB-A. You're gonna see why that makes more sense in a second why we don't wanna use that. But we're gonna use the USB-A to a USB-C. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then we will go ahead and plug that in. And you'll see that it says, the, this phone is almost dead, but we've got a 15% charge. And it says, this is gonna take one hour and 47 minutes. One hour and 47 minutes. And if we look at the little gauge we have here, it says we're pulling 4.78 volts times 1.40 amps. And if you multiply those together, we'll get 6.6. .6. The maximum this is pulling right now is six watts, which kind of makes sense because we said that this is a nine watt adapter. Let's just do that once again. Okay, one hour, 47 minutes, almost two hours. All right, now let's go with a 
15 watt, super fast. And this super fast is also very similar to, again, I don't wanna get in the names too much, but this is an adaptive fast charge. And this is a Qualcomm 3.0. Those are essentially the same thing. Go by the watts. You don't have to worry about the names, go by the watts. This has a maximum of 15 watts. Now you'll see it says fast charging, fast charge because it's pulling more. And this is 8.64 volts at 1.64 amps. And you'll see it comes out to 14.4, which makes sense. I just said that the maximum this can put out is 15. And you'll see we went from one hour 47, almost two hours, to one hour 22, one hour and 22 minutes. That's pretty decent. Now, I want to show, I'll show you the Mo point. No, let's do it this way. The th we went over the first two rules. Let's take a look at the third rule. The third rule I said is that you want to go USB-C to USB-C. You do not want to use a USB-A. And the reason for that is, is that will cut down on the wattage every single time because th that can only handle so much. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this 25 watt adapter, which only has at USB-C, plug that in. And in fact, our little gadget is not gonna react well to this, but we'll do it for a second. So it says, welcome, super fast charge. You'll see it says eight at 1.3, you'll see wattage. Look at that, 16, 18, 21, this, yeah, boom, that's dead. I figured that was gonna do that. All right, so let's just plug this in directly. First thing I want you to notice is that on my Note 20 Ultra, which supports fast charging 25 watts, which means it'll pull up to 25 watts. First thing I want you to notice is that it glows green instead of white. Green instead of white. It says super fast charging. And it says, based upon this, it'll be charged in one hour and three minutes. We went from one hour, 47 minutes to one hour, just a little over one hour. And it actually will get better than that because super fast charge will actually pull from that. All right. So for, if your phone can use only use 25 watts, or that's the maximum you can use, you could get away with just a 25 watt charger. I want you to at least see why you wanna use this charger instead of this charger. We saved an hour just by using chargers. But if you have something like the Note 10 and some of these other ones, they'll actually use 45 watts. So they'll charge actually even faster than that. I don't have a Note 10 here to go over. What I do wanna show you is this. So here we have the Mo Point. We said that the Mo Point has 65 watts. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And I'm gonna plug this in again. And no surprise here, we got the green. All right, we got the green. And we got one hour and two minutes. So just what we had before. But here's what I wanna show you. I want, I'm gonna use the same 65 watt adapter, the same 65 watt adapter, but I'm gonna use the MoPoint has two USB-Cs and one USB-A. Let's use the USB-A and see what happens. Remember, we already know that we can get super fast charge out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So we should get super fast charge. At, no, we don't. That's what I was saying. You cannot, if you wanna charge your phone as fast as possible, you cannot use USB-A because it limits how much it is. See, now we're back down. That was only fast charging. Let's plug that in again. We're down to fast charging and we're at one hour and 20 minutes. We just added 20 minutes onto our charging time because of a freaking cable, all right? All of the cables are like that. It's not just this make a cable. A USB, it can sense USB-A will not let your phone charge over, I think 25 watts, but in a lot of cases, it's a lot less than that. You always wanna go USB-C to USB-C and that will get you the fastest of the fastest. All right, in this case, this phone, the most it can take is 25 watts. It's, this is 65 watts, so we're fine. And we're able to do it. Let's talk about the Mo Point. The Mo Point is a 65 watt adapter. Not only will I be able to charge my phone, I'll be able to charge two phones. Now, it's gonna be 65 divided by two because the maximum it can put out is 65 watts. But remember, in this case, this phone is 25 watts. If I had another 25 watt phone, I'm still I'm still in there. There's 25 watts over there, 25 watts over here, that's 50. I still have enough, it'll charge as fast as possible, and I can even still charge something else in the USB-A. On top of that, most of your laptops, Chromebooks, iPads, and your MacBooks need 35, 45, 55, 65 watts. That's why you want this. If I take this with me, all I need to do is take this with me. 
I will be able to charge two items super fast. I could charge and I can charge my phone and my Chromebook at the same time and then still something else on top of that. I only have to take this. I don't have to take all this other stuff. By comparison, here is a 65 watt adapter that I used to take with me. You can see for comparison, this is a lot smaller boys and girls. And this is only gonna charge one item. This was for my Chromebook. I can charge them both off of this. The other issue I had with this, they fold down, which was nice, but in order to use it in a foreign country, I had to put that in. And what happened was these, it kept falling out of the wall. It was like this, but a boom, but a bing. And every five minutes, this kept falling out of the wall. I kept putting it in and it would fall down. All right, it wasn't really all that helpful. The Mo Point it comes with the three travel adapters that should cover you anywhere on the planet. The way that these fit on is that these actually lock onto this isn't coming off. They give you a little bag here that you can uh, carry your travel adapters in. And usually what I do, I put my travel adapters in here and I throw this in my suitcase. This lives in my suitcase because obviously I only need these when I'm traveling. It's a little heavy, dense, but it's not something that you're gonna be like, holy cow. But like I said, I can pull this out in a second, plug this in, charge up my laptop, charge up my phone, power something else up, power a little monitor or something like that because I have 65 watts, all right? I'll put a link for the MoPoint 65 watt USB-C wall adapter down below. I'll also put a link, as I said, if you only have, if you say, look, I don't have a laptop, I don't have anything else, I just need uh, a good adapter, I'll put a link for two, I believe it's two of these with two cables for less than $20, as opposed to going to some of these other big box stores where these are like $39, $49, $59. What I do wanna make sure that you get out of this is you don't wanna be using something like this. If you put it in, you just see it say charging and it says two hours or three hours. I had one that was so bad, I think it was like two watts and it told me it was gonna take nine hours to charge my phone. Then you wanna get rid of that if you have other devices like a laptop or a Chromebook or something else that you take with you, an iPad, an iPhone, again, you're gonna be able to charge three of them at the same time. If you have a Note 10, again, this isn't gonna help you with the Note, this isn't gonna help you with the Note 10 because the Note 10 will take up to 45 watts. You, this'll charge it and it'll charge it faster than this one, but it won't charge it as fast as it could possibly charge because it wants 45. Go with the overkill, go with the 65 watts and know that you have everything you need and take that with you. All right, if you now understand wattage and adapters better than you did before, please hit the like button and let me know. Put a comment down below, let me know what the aha moment is. Let me know your story. Say, hey, you know what? I didn't realize that and I've been taking five days to charge my phone and now I can charge my phone in one hour using something like this. Go ahead and put that down below. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm waiting here tonight. Tomorrow I will be getting my Fold 3, as well as a Flip 3, as well as a Galaxy Watch 4, the uh, a Ga a Galaxy Buds 2. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming out. We really appreciate all your support. We wanna thank our members. If you wanna become a member, go ahead and check that out. We have some other videos that are members only videos. Until the next time, this is Norman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, signing out.